I'm going to show you uh, use a tool called Canva uh, to build your print files. So let's dive right into it. So let's say you are on um, our easy to order website uh, and you wanted to get something done like we're going to dive into a couple products. Uh, start with business cards. So here on the business cards page, uh, you would pick your size, pick your paper, and you just pick your speed. And then you also need to submit a print ready file. By the way, if you need a sample kit, that's usually the missing piece. Just fill out your name and address here. We will ship you a sample kit. You will get to know all the papers we have. But now you're on step, you're on the part where you need to create a print ready file. So we're gonna to go to Canva and build a business card. So you know what size you want. Um, once you set up a Canva account, it is a totally free account. We are not associated with Canva other than I think it's a good tool for creating print files. Um, they have a free account. I do recommend their pro account because it has a large library, a larger library of templates and graphics, etc. So simply put in the top right, once you're set up, create a design, you can type something in like business card. Boom. It even says there, if you can see three and a half by two square, let's do a three and a half by two. Once you type the business card, they have all sorts of templates here on the left. Uh, pick whatever one you want. And really, you can uh, find something that inspires you. You can change the color. Let's see here. You can switch the colors out. Uh, just go back to the templates, find something you like, and then you simply upload your logo, etc. Once you have it, here's the important part. If you hit print business cards, Canva will print it, not associated with Little Rock. I think that goes to, um, uh, I know where it goes, but I won't mention it. It's not here, but... I recommend uh, you can do that, but what I what I prefer uh, is that you go to share, download, and Canva's gotten really good with, uh, they have, the default will be a PNG, but if you go to the PDF print file, turn on your crop marks and bleeds, and please select CMYK. CMYK is the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black that print uh, equipment uses for printing, and you can download your PDF. It's now on your computer. And this one's called Untitled Design because I didn't save it. And wham, bam. Uh, obviously, I didn't do any edits. You now have a print-ready file. Uh, these trim marks allow us to um, uh, uh, trim off to full color bleed. So that's very helpful. I recommend you do that. So let's just do a couple more. Super simple. So let's say you're doing... Uh, I'm going to show you how to do a quick resize as well. So if you... Did I get moved over here? If you are back on the site on Canva, okay, and you wanted to do a, a poster board, uh, most of the things you're gonna do, if you're doing uh, some standard stuff, it's great, but if you're doing something from scratch, hit custom size. The default is usually gonna be pixels. Just switch it to inches. If you're doing a, uh, let's say a banner stand, 33.5 by 80 inches, create new design. As long as you keep that size, you're gonna have a perfect file. Probably good to put uh, a file name in right away, banner stand. And then they have all sorts, again, they have templates that will fit uh, kind of any different size. So let's say this is the one you want, it'll stretch it for you. You can move all these elements around, you can upload your stuff. And the cool part is if this was your thing, of course you could download that as a print file but let's say you did this banner stand and now you want to do a four inch by two inch label and you want to keep the same kind of framework. Uh, if you have the pro account, you can hit this resize button. Uh, let's see here. Am I not logged in? File, make a copy. Resize. Okay, so we're going to resize it. If I wanted to make a four inch by two, I could go width four height two. Now we go copy and resize, and it's gonna take all those elements and it's gonna flip it over this way, keep all your colors, and now you can keep your brand intact. You can make, uh, and you can now make this a four inch by two inch label and keep all your elements. Or you can flip the, the template all together. You can add new pages, et cetera. So that is a brief summary of how you can use Canva. If you need any help with that, let us know. Super great tool for you. Um, thank you so much. And uh, I should have a better closing at this point. If you're still watching, I don't know how to say goodbye.
Thanks.